Hi, today I'm in Pam's Kitchen. I'm gonna show you how to make a Hampton Water Raspberry Rosé Mule. With its great blend of flavors, this is the perfect drink to ring in the new year or enjoy while you're sitting by the pool. Get started. Grab your cocktail shaker and a muddler and we'll muddle through this recipe together. Okay, bad joke. Let's take the cocktail shaker and to it we are going to add three mint leaves and one quarter cup fresh raspberries. So you'll take your muddler and just continue to press down until the raspberries are broken up and you can smell the mint. Why muddle? Well, it releases the oils and the flavors from the mint leaf without adding the whole mint leaf to the drink. To our cocktail shaker, we will add one tablespoon lime juice. And we have our jigger here. We're going to use the small side, which is the one ounce side. So we'll pour one ounce of vodka. Got just a tad more, but oh well. Next, we're going to add three ounces of ginger beer. Now we'll take our jigger and use the one and a half ounce size. So you remember from math class that one and a half ounces plus one and a half ounces is three ounces. So we will add three ounces of ginger beer. Next, we'll grab our Hampton water. We'll pop the top like it's New Year's Eve, and we'll pour in three ounces of Hampton water wine. our drink by adding in some Are We Farm honey. We'll start by adding in one and a half teaspoons. Feel free if you like it a little sweeter to add in another half teaspoon. time to mix up our drinks. So we'll take the cover, make sure it fits tightly, and we'll just shake. I'm not going to do one of those fancy bartender shakes, otherwise I'll have a mess in my kitchen and I don't feel like cleaning it all up. Now it's time to pour our drink. So grab your copper mule mug. If you don't have a copper mule mug, don't worry. You can always use a Lobo glass or a stemless wine glass. Next you'll add a half a cup of ice. We'll take our cocktail shaker. This cocktail shaker already has a strainer on the top. Or you could take the top off and use a cocktail strainer. You put it in just like that, hold it down, and we'll pour out our drink. Place a few raspberries on a long cocktail pick and garnish. My kitchen to you. Visit In Pam's Kitchen on social media.